All right, let's talk about this TCU-Colorado game. Now, if you look at, at Twitter, Instagram, you look at whatever, everybody and their damn brother absolutely loves Colorado this year. And I get it. There's a lot of hype around the program. First time in a long time since damn Mel Tucker went there and he left him in the dust. Um, here's what I'll say. I love TCU in this ballgame. <clears throat> One of my favorite bets that I placed on the year is TCU under three and a half wins. Now, listen, I'm not here to say that Deion Sanders is not going to do a good job because I think long-term he will. Eventually, they will be good. This year, the talent disparity between them and other teams is just insane. Not only that, half their team left, and I understand sometimes you come in, you got a clean house, and you can say the same thing about damn TCU. They lost a lot of really good players, but they did pretty well in the transfer portal, and I just think in this game – with it being week one, I don't think Colorado has it figured out at all. Now, listen, I could be damn wrong by a mile, you know, knock on wood. We'll see. Um, but more than likely, I'm going to be locking in TCU minus 20 and a half. I also am leaning Colorado team total under uh, 19 and a half. Um, I just think talent-wise, TCU's a much more talented team than Colorado. I just think there's a lot of overhype with Colorado. Um, and I think this year, again, I think they win three games max. Again, I could be wrong on that, but uh, that's just my personal opinion. So in this game, I got to roll with TCU. Uh, get your damn mind right. We'll see you in the next one. Log it in. Bless your head.